What's up everybody and welcome back to TGK TV. I'm your host TGK. And today I wanna to talk about the Adidas Crazy Explosive, the 2016 version and the 2017 version and how I think they're gonna be sorely missed. But before we get started guys, make sure y'all leave a like. That's all I want, just leave a like, that's it. Let's move on with the video. All right, man, so today we're just gonna have a discussion about the Crazy Explosive by Adidas. There's the 2016 version and there's also the 2017 version. But before we really get into this discussion, make sure if you are a hooper, you invest in some foot spray. This definitely keeps your foot or your shoe necessarily smelling fresh and it gets all that foot smell and bacteria and fungus and all that stuff out of the way. This really helps the quality of your shoe when you're playing basketball and all the sweat and whatnot. So you don't want your feet to stink. Here you go. Quick little plug. This name is sponsored. Anyway, so these kicks, man, I think these kicks in general, the, the Crazy Explosive by Adidas, in my honest opinion, I have hooped in many shoes. I don't want to get into all of them, but these have been the best shoes that I've probably ever hooped in in my entire life. The only other shoes that I would put up there that I could be like, yo, I want to play in these, you know, if it came down to, you know, if it came down to a serious game or it came down to a serious moment where I need the best performance shoe, it's going to be either one of these three or it's gonna be the Kobe 5s, or it's gonna be the LeBron 9 Elite, or the LeBron 11s. And, and you know what, the Harden 3s are getting close there, but that that's left to be seen. But these kicks, I, I don't know, man. I, I think the fact that they're not producing them anymore is, is a real issue for me because in your two versions, Adidas, this is to you, in your two versions, the 2016 was amazing. No one expected that. Everybody thought this is gonna be an ugly shoe. Everybody laughed at this shoe when it first came out. They're like, this is, what is this? Like, anybody gonna wanna buy that? But and when I say the best shoe to hoop, I'm talking about performance wise. These kicks are probably the best performance shoes ever, of all time. And it is in my humble opinion. And, and then the 2016 version came out, right? It didn't have the great geo fit that the first ones had, but the thing with these, it just, you didn't even need the laces and you were snug into this shoe. And this shoe just basically improved on the performance of these. And these are an amazing performance kick. And the, and the 2017 version just upped it up, performance wise. I, I, I'm just dumbfounded the fact that Adidas is no longer producing them. And when I feel like this is probably one of the best basketball performance shoes out there. I know maybe they didn't sell well because a, from an appearance perspective, no one's gonna probably buy these just to to hoop in them. I mean, not to hoop in them, but no one's gonna buy these just to rock them out in public. Um, but performance wise, man, I don't I don't know a shoe that has such a great traction pattern that is very consistent on all floors. The cushion setup that it has literally feels like an ultra boost. The, basically the upper on the majority of these, I mean, this is prime knit. This is a different version of that. I mean, but it's soft material but it keeps you snug in there. And the difference with, with this shoe, this shoe has the GeoFit tongue and the GeoFit boot in here. This is more of a, like a sock in a way, right? But it has great materials. It just, I feel like these shoes, both of them, the two versions, the 2016 version and the 2017 version are going to be sorely missed in basically the shoe community as far as playing basketball is concerned. The performance version of, you know, shoe reviews or, or the shoe community. And I don't think that these shoes get enough love for, for what they, they brought to the game when they did come out. I played with this shoe probably December of 2016 and I probably retired this shoe in 2018 because I really worn, worn out the traction on these kicks. However, I can still bring them out from time to time and they'll still perform pretty decently. And right now, since this is more of my fresher uh, Crazy Explosive 16, the traction is still on there because I'm not hooping in it every day since I'm trying different shoes. And then the 2017, this is the traction that I've been playing with since 2017 and it has not worn down an inch. This traction is beyond amazing. The, it, it's something about this shoe. I think just the way whoever made this shoe, you did an amazing job. Adidas, you had an amazing idea. I mean, I'm, you still have amazing kicks like the Harden 3s, the Dame Litter 5s. I haven't played in the next levels, but I would love to. Adidas makes great basketball shoes. It's just with this particular shoe model, especially the Prime Knit version over here. 
I, I just, in my honest opinion, truly, truly, I just feel like these shoes were probably the best basketball shoe, performance basketball shoe of all time. And I don't think they get enough press. I don't think they get enough love that they should get, like these other shoes get just because of the aesthetics. But this shoe, aside from aesthetics, obviously, it, there's not a shoe out there that you could point to me and be like, yo, this is by far better than the Crazy Explosive in every single aspect. There's an aspect in this shoe that is better than the majority of the shoes that you have out there that you could probably counter with. Because this shoe, from an overall perspective, I'm talking about overall, like everything performance-wise. We're talking about every aspect that the shoe can give you. From the materials in this kick and, and just how it supports you from, from a lockdown, from a fit, and then just the quality build of the kick, I just don't know what shoe compares to this. And yes, these shoes came out at, at like right in the middle, middle medium price range of a 150. You know, they're right below the most premium type of shoe, but a, above the budget type. And and I don't know, I was so excited to see what they were gonna do with the 2018 version of, you know, the third uh, the third model of this kick, and it just stopped. And that's unfortunate for, for someone like me that was falling in love with these kicks. So now, now my next thing is really just trying to find crazy explosives and, and, and collect them as I can get them uh, for a cheap price if I can. Um, but yeah, man, I just really wanted to make a video and, and put a spotlight on these kicks. I don't know if anybody else out there that's played in them feels the way I feel. I just feel like they're, they're slept on and, and people forgot about them. And I think they forgot about them for the wrong reasons and it's mainly because the aesthetics of the shoe. I think the shoe, regardless of the aesthetics, I don't play with basketball shoes for, for looks necessarily. I play with them for how they perform. And sometimes shoes have a great aesthetic. Sometimes shoes look very great and they perform very great. But also sometimes shoes can look very great like the KD12 that I had, the Warrior uh, Dub Nation version and perform really poorly within a couple of wears. So the fact that these kicks are, these two kicks are as old as they are and the fact that I've worn these as much as I've worn them and all, all three of these will still be able to perform with any other shoe that I have. I have the Kyrie Fives, LeBron 13, 16s, 15 lows, any other shoe that I have in my entire collection. These shoes, if I were to have to pick a shoe to play with on like the final day of Earth, right? I'm gonna go with the crazy explosives until I find something that literally wipes them off the floor. Now, for me, my goal in the crazy explosive realm is the crazy explosive Las Vegas version. That version is, is this model, the 2017 Las Vegas version is bananas. It's crazy. I, I would love to have that shoe, but it's like going for $350 and I ain't got that kind of budget for, for a basketball shoe. Anyway, man, if you feel like the crazy explosives are slept on, if you feel like they are the best shoe of all time, whatever opinion that you have on these kicks, let me know. Um, I would love to engage with everybody about these kicks. I love these shoes to death and I, and I want to see if there's anybody out there that agrees with me or disagrees with me. I'm, I'm open to this, this conversation and I just really wanted to bring some, some spotlight to the kick. Anyway, guys, until then, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.